if you're saying that they can't wage war because the economy in the west western world is in hyperinflation then what's going to happen when they do because they definitely are going to take us to war with china uh, yeah that's the thing i don't think they're they're going to allow the economies to go into hyperinflation i think they're going to continue to kick up the interest rates right because one of the things the united states it has done is use the US dollar as a weapon, right? So there's a lot of countries that have debt in US dollars. They're screwed because they gave away their sovereignty to the United States of America, to the Fed, right? So what they can do, United States, while it's waging war on Russia and China, because a lot of the customers, because they're trying to do the whole domino thing, right? So there's a lot of customers that are third world countries of Russian resources, Russian food, uh, Chinese resources, Chinese products, right? And part of the whole Belt and Road Initiative, right? A lot of those countries uh, from the global south have debt in US dollars. So as US dollar interest rates go up, the US dollar gets stronger, right? Because it's paying back more interest, so you can just park your money there, collect interest, right? So if that continues, then all those countries that have that in U.S. dollars, they're screwed because they have to pay back in U.S. dollars, but their economies do not support that, right? Because if they're producing something, if, if the whole economy is slowing down and their payments are going up because they have to pay more interest in the U.S. dollar debt that they have, they're going to come, their economy is going to come grinding to a halt. So in that sense, they probably won't buy as much stuff from Russia uh and energy from russia as they ha do right now and the deals they have with china are not as viable uh through the belt and road initiative so i'm expecting rates to continue to go up in the united states and canada and the western world i'm not sure what's going to happen in europe europe is a shit show europe is done it's a full war war mode right collectively europe has gotten together and said yeah they're going to do collective purchases of weapons to send to ukraine to wage war against Russia with the United States, Canada and stuff. Like people say, oh, the you know, United States, Canada, Western Europe, they're not at war with Russia. I, I don't know what it takes to be at war with another nation, but to me, that is war. They're, they're now in full-blown war with Russia. It's NATO versus Russia, right? So they need to have a stable currency to be able to do that. So I don't think they're going to allow their currencies to go into hyperinflation because if the currency is going to hyperinflation, then they won't be able to buy the resources, the commodities, the, the metals, the oil, the energy, the cobalt, the whatever it is, the food that they need to be able to maintain their economies in a war posture, right? So Russia has already gone into a war-based economy. The West is about to go into a war-based economy. That means a lot of energy, a lot of resources are going to go towards not making things that you and me need, but making things that the military-industrial complex need and the world economic forum powers need to maintain power within their countries and to continue waging war on Russia and kickstart a war with China, i.e. World War III. Right? How is this going to play out? Is the West going to win? I... I would not bet on it. The West is in deep shit. And when it's all said and done, I've said it before, I'll say it again, we might be going behind another iron curtain and we're on the wrong side. Okay, we're on the wrong side. Before all this stuff gets out of hand, we have to remove these World Economic Forum puppets from power okay so any politician any politician that is taking away free speech in the western world that is limiting your ability to do business to make money okay that wants to introduce centrally backed digital currencies okay take away eliminate cash and wants to monitor all your data if they need a digital id they are your enemy okay because the only reason they want to do that is a fail-safe mechanism so they don't want to lose control. Because if their plans don't play out, and they won't, they're gonna, they've lost Ukraine, they're going to lose against China, they're done. 
the Western world is done as a global hegemonic power. It's done, right? Then what they're going to do, they're going to create new gulags for me and you that live in the Western world. The concentration camps are already built. Okay. They, they're already built. Keep that in mind, gang. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a dangerous period. No doubt, no doubt. It's a dangerous period. No doubt, no doubt.